Praise God. This is Apostle Tim Kurtz, and this is my wife, Carolyn. And we would like to invite you to our 20th anniversary on May 5th and 6th. Come out and celebrate with us. You will be blessed. Uh, two days of celebration on May 5th and 6th. Uh, we're having a banquet on that Saturday at 6th. And we're having a Sunday evening program on that 6th. So come out and celebrate with us. Amen. You will be blessed. God has sent us so many great things that's going to take place. We have special singers coming. We have Frankie Scales, Jeff Thomas, and the first group I had an opportunity to name out of John 316 Ministries is Patria will be with us. And of course, our New Life Praise Team will also be there on Saturday night. You will really be blessed as Four Winds Christian Center and their praise team will be with us to enjoy a wonderful night of celebration and praise. Also, we have Dayon coming back. You remember her from Albion College? She'll come and we we're always blessed by her dance. Also, on Saturday night, my friend, Prophet Ray Todd, will be the speaker that night. I know you'll be blessed with that. And then my pastor, Pastor Joel Brooks from Christian Life Center, will be with us on Sunday morning. You will be blessed. Watch this. I wait for you to get, what he said, I'm waiting for you to get back into your creative order. Because once you get in creative order, God can be glorified. But as long as you out of order, ain't no glorification for God. He's not getting anything out of this. Now, I want you to depend on me. I want you to depend on me to show you where you need to be. That's why we get real in a hurry to be a minister and to things like that. But you don't need, you just need to just wait. You just need to, 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 to just wait on God just for a little while and he'll do what he said he's going to do. One of the falsehoods about entrepreneurs is entrepreneurs are people who like to take risks. That's not true. Anytime you venture something, venture out, you take a risk. But they are not people who like risk. They're people who assume risk. The big difference between, you know, I mean, if you just like risk, you can jump out of a plane, you know, with a parachute. That's risky. Okay, but it doesn't build anything. It simply gives you an experience. Entrepreneurs assume risk. Now, what, now what is, what's the difference? Well, when you assume risk, you become positioned for reward. Praise God. We look forward to seeing you on both of those evenings. God bless you, and God has a blessing for you.